Hey there guys and welcome back to Unjaded Jade. Welcome to my exam night routine. As you may be aware, exam season is officially upon us and seeing as I have my A-level exams coming up, I thought I'd show you how I spend the night before an exam. So at my school we're fortunate enough to have study leave, so I would normally spend most of the day doing revision and I started filming this after dinner. So I just stocked up on a herbal tea, which is an essential for my revision. And and I had a comfort me tea. I also love tea pigs, pukka, yogi tea, especially the bedtime varieties. There's just something about settling in with a herbal tea that instantly makes me feel calmer. I've also gotten into the habit of going into the snack cupboard, and yes, that is a mound of food, and getting a date. I try and keep to a really healthy diet during exam season, and I know that it definitely makes me feel a lot better for it. And dates are just a quite nice sugary little thing and an alternative to me binging on cake. Then I just took my tea up to my bedroom, put it down, switched on the light and closed the door because I don't like doing revision when the door's open for some reason. I definitely like it to be quiet and to be alone. I then looked at my room and was like, Jesus, what a mess. After all the scattered revision I've been doing, it was a bit of a tip. See this? This is my phone. See what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put it on airplane mode and it's gonna stay that way. <laughs> Distraction free zone. Do you know what I'm gonna do then? Shove this under the duvet cover. <laughs> Where is it now? Gone, you don't even know. <laughs> so as much as I hate tidying, I did take five minutes just to put some sheets away. Oh. And there is this emphasis that I wanna place on trying to keep yourself from getting too stressed during exams. There are days where everything feels so overwhelming and sometimes just doing things like cleaning up your workspace can make you feel a bit better. I think there really is something about having a cleaner space that keeps you from getting as stressed. And I am a highly disorganized person, um, but five minutes to clear your space and your sheets can just be a bit of a shift. And then I did the first thing which I would do to kind of structure my revision. I just go through and look at the content again. So this whole day was the night before a chemistry exam. Here I just went through things I made with all the content on it and I went through the contents page of the textbook. Based off of that I made a short to-do list on a post-it note of all the things I had to go over that night. Basically just last minute memory things or things that for some reason I didn't understand. I then got out my organic synthesis mind map which was laminated which is fun and I kind of stared at that for a while I mentally tested myself on some of the pathways and then I did one of the first things on the to-do list which was all to do with chapter 30 of a level AQA chemistry so using the data sheet from the textbook which I'd be given in the exam I just started drawing out complementary base pairs and DNA I then had some tea worked out what I was gonna do next I then decided to do some mechanism practice so here I was just doing elimination and then I would check this against my notes. And I think it's so important that the night before an exam, if you are going to do revision, that you do effective revision. So one of the main things is past paper questions, just going over random hard topics that you don't like. I mean, it's kind of just not really worth your time passively reading. So yeah, try to engage with the content, active recall, that kind of thing. But at the same time, it's so important not to stress yourself out. So it's kind of finding this balance between doing revision the night before and crafting if you're into that but not stressing yourself out and knowing that you are doing your best this is not the only time that you've revised all year and that you do know more than you think so then I just continued blurting these equations from memory I then ticked that off of my list and I did a bit of blurting of colored ions and aqueous ion color changes and all of that jazz if you don't know what blurting is it's a revision technique that I highly highly recommend I've got a video on it which I will leave in the description if I remember but it's helped out so many people who have seen the video which I'm very grateful for and it's a great way of using active recall to remember things but yeah then I just use the textbook to fill in gaps in my knowledge or things I got wrong which I think is also really important to do and then I had the satisfaction of ticking most of the things off of my little post-it note to-do list I drank some water because I really like to stay hydrated during exam season then I went into my folder cupboard and got out my chemistry folder full of past paper questions this is time consuming 
boring and seems boring but I just went through lots of past papers for all sorts of topics and I do tend to do this the night before an exam and instead of just purely reading it the things that I didn't know or were unsure of or things that I just wanted to remind myself of the morning before the exam I would just note down on a piece of paper and just kind of going over questions can be kind of calming in a way and it's sort of become part of my routine to do a bit of just creative writing of some kind or like a diary entry into a little book. I feel like expressing yourself in some way during exam season is so important. So whether it's writing a little account of how you're feeling, how you feel an exam went, just try not to bottle things up. I then flossed my teeth and yes, I do have a sink in my room, which is really weird, don't ask. And then I just brushed my teeth. Oh look, there's me. Some nights I use this little body shop face mask and then welcome Welcome to our family bathroom. Very unexciting and has bad lighting. I kind of alternate the facial products that I use, but there's this little facial toner thing from the body shop or this cleansing gel from the beauty kitchen. Tell me if you want a skincare routine. I then shoved my hair up into a beautiful little bun. What's hilarious is my mum saw me and she was like, oh Jade, are you filming a prom hair video? And I was like, no mum, I just put up my hair to wash my face. I then proceeded to wash my face using a konjac sponge, which I really like to exfoliate my my face a bit but at the same time it's quite gentle and I do try and get a bit of an early night which is good. I then changed my slumpy clothes for my slumpy pyjamas. I put on some uplifting tunes, danced around like the dorky human I am. Oh and if you think judging by my top that I'm good at gym or dance I'm not good at either. I just like to participate. <laughs> but then I just took off my earrings and my necklace, popped them into my little jewellery holder. Thank you Rhiannon for gifting me this. And I think music's so important for me in exam season to lift my mood a bit and I also think staying off your phone if you can is so important to de-stress as well. You don't need to compare yourself to your friend or people on social media. I then go through my exam pencil case for the next day, make sure I've got the essentials, calculator, etc. Not really sure I need a glue stick in an exam but <laughs> because I don't need the stress in the morning. I also double check my exam timetable for the timings and then I allow myself to chill just a little bit more. So I often like to get into bed with some flashcards. And to be fair, this is a great revision. I'm not gonna lie to you. It is just kind of passively reading the content. But I think sometimes there's something quite relaxing about just familiarizing yourself with content that you do already know or topics that you really like. If it's English, reread the book. This salt lamp is one of my favorite things just for atmosphere and mood and I put it on just for a little bit each evening. I then settle onto my yoga mat and I would highly recommend this if you're feeling stressed during exam season. I love yoga with Adrian on YouTube. She's great for beginners as well. If you want to just do a short yoga flow. I also love and advocate meditation so whether that is meditating on an app like Stop, Breathe and Think or a short 10 minute meditation on YouTube, there are quite a few that I like that I can leave in the description. But yeah, while I'm doing this yoga, I like to be really conscious of how I'm feeling, where my mood is at, and I also like to visualize the exam the next day going well. I then change into my even slumpier little pyjamas. Look at that leopard print. <laughs> I then turn off the main light, settle down to the glow of my lovely lamp, take out my mane and settle in in Shavasana, which is a fancy way of saying lying down. And it's here that's so important. It's where I set intentions. I truly visualize myself in the exam the next day, feeling okay and not feeling stressed. Just setting up my mind as positively as possible and knowing that I've done my best and though this is what I generally do it is not what I always do there are always going to be days where you have breakdowns you feel like you don't know anything you're there crying to your mum and you're stressed about not getting enough sleep you're rolling around because your heart is just racing in your bed I understand and I am there too I think it's just about doing your best to minimize your stress, to try and feel prepared, and to realize that you really can only do your best. In my opinion, there's also no point having an all-nighter. You might as well get off your phone and try and have an early night. Brush your teeth as early as you can so that you can't eat too late. <laughs> if you're in exam season right now, I'm wishing you all the luck in the world with any upcoming exams. Sending you all my love and luck. Please give this a like if you liked it. I took time out of my revision, out of my exams, to film and edit this. So yeah, I hope it helps. Helped. leave me some nice words and subscribe if you haven't already thank you so much for watching bye